like there'll never be no comparison. You're live on the show. Sit back and have a listen. All right, all right. <laughs> LDBC, this is your boy Coach Shelton Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Shelton Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Guys, I can't make this stuff up. I, I, I really can't. The coach can't make this up. Some simp. Okay, some simp. They didn't give his name out because, boy, if they gave this guy name out, I would have had him up here on blast. Some simp offered Justine Kish $15,000 for them shit. Sorry, PG-13 channel. For those pooped up shorts that she did uh, when she fought against Felice Herrick. Somebody offered her $15,000 for her doo-doo. Uh, I'm going to just say it. God forgive me. Somebody offered her $15,000 for some shit. Folks, that, that, that's just how that, that's just the way that is. Now, I told y'all that there were these kind of guys out there. Didn't I tell y'all? I told y'all that these guys, and remember I was trying to tell y'all that there are people like this with Ronda Rousey. You know, that people, you know, Rhonda could, could piss on them or take a dump on them. And they would take that and collect the poop and the piss. And they would put it in some kind of jar and hold it. Well, here it is right here. You know what? When y'all going to start listening to me? When are y'all going to start listening? Because the coach, I, <laughs> God, dog, boy, this takes the cake. Okay, let's see. Let's see what Justine said. I was like, this is disgusting. There are some really disgusting people out there. <laughs> Kiss continued. And so they offered me $15,000 for my shorts. Some man that wanted a man cave with my shorts. God, dog. Oh. He has like a UFC shrine. He gave me his name, his email address, all these things. I really don't want to give uh, too much details, but that was the most lucrative offer. And I'm not going to, I mean, why? People are saying, send them over, just do it. I'm like, oh, all right. Well, I'll give him my information, but I don't see how this is actually real. It's real, Justine. You're dealing with a simp, okay? You're dealing with a simp, okay? You you get, you get, know what? Why don't you piss in a jar and then put that piss for sale on eBay? I guarantee you, the coach guarantees you that somebody will buy it. Hell, it might even be a couple of you dudes on this channel right now listening. You might buy it. Maybe some of y'all are upset that, you know, you didn't offer her first. I bet if Justine Kish off, auctioned them things off, man, she might get about 50 grand for her doo-doo stank pooped up shorts. I mean, she probably would. The dude that want these shorts, this got to be a nasty bastard. This got to be some nasty bastard. I, man, come on. There's no way. No way. I'm sorry. <laughs> no. No. What are you doing? I can tell that this is a grown man. A grown man yeah, definitely had to be in a single mother household. I mean, there's no reason a grown man wanted Justine Kish's shorts. How you gonna explain this? I noted this dude. You you, you gotta know this dude probably by prostitutes. I mean, this man probably got pictures of Justine Kish all around his house. Okay, this guy has probably went online trying to find new photos of Justine Kish. I mean, God, dog. But this dude want to buy those shorts for $15,000. <laughs> Could you imagine what he going to be doing with them things, man? You know he going to take, uh, y'all, uh, this might get graphic. You know he going to take a sniff of them. You know dude might even downright stick his tongue on them shorts. I mean, folks, I'm trying to tell y'all. Folks, that, that, come on. You know there's some sickos out there. I'm not kidding, y'all. It's some sickos. You know this dude going to do this. You know this dude going to take them shorts and wash his face in them. You know. And whoever you are, you simp, you are a sick bastard, you. God, dog. <laughs> this dude's sick, man. This dude needs some help. Well, you know what? Here's my commercial for the comment section. Um, are you a guy that wants to buy a pair of shorts that's been uh, took, taking a poop on? Are you a guy that's a simp? Are you a guy that can't function in real life and no woman will deal with you? Well, come to the comments section, okay? There is somebody in the comments section that can help you today. Hey, you know what? We got doctors. We got lawyers. We got experts. We got, you know, we got fighters. Everybody's in the comments section, okay? If you need somebody to talk to, come to the comments section. Brought to you by the idiots in the comments section today. God, dog. Guys, this has got to be the most funniest thing that I don't heard. You know, I, you know, I always thought this. The coach always thought this, y'all. But, but you know, I never thought 
that, 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 that somebody will actually <laughs> actually do it I mean I got so many simp videos out here I got a video I, I mean god dog this is a real life simp y'all this guy is is probably he ain't man I done named so many simps on this channel this guy is simp of the decade man this got to be the greatest simp on God's green earth I hope and I hope to God and pray that that somebody I hope Justine tell this guy's name Justine if you see this video look you need to tell us who this is so the coach can roast him the coach is gonna make fun of this guy I know he's got to be between the ages of 30 and 42 gotta be gotta be 15 grand but you know what uh Dana White said he gonna give her a little surprise bonus for crapping herself so I mean I, I, I don't know does that make Dana White a simp too does that make him a bald-headed simp I, I, I don't know or or is it Dana White in disguise? Nah, I don't know. I don't think I don't even, I think Dana White got too much. Well, I don't know. Could it be Dana White? But Dana White did say that man, he's giving her like a little extra surprise bonus. That's that's what it said in the article too. So, you know, dang. So if you go in there and take a dump on yourself, hey, would Dana White give you a little something, something extra? I mean, God dog. I don't know. What do y'all think Justine Kish ought to do? <laughs> Uh, I mean, you can't blame Justine Kish for thinking like, yeah, let me go on again. But you know what? I guarantee she get us do her information. She gonna have a stalker. Justine Kish is gonna have a stalker if this group, if this dude gets her information. I, I guarantee you. The coach guarantee you. Justine, I don't know. You might have to give him like a, I don't know. You might have to give him a fake address or a P.O. box or you, you might have to get a whole nother phone. It's worth 15 grand. I, I don't know. But Justine Kish talking about she gonna do it. But, you know, she a fighter. She probably could take him. Who knows? Oh, boy. I tell you, this done made my day. This is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harrison. I'm done. Sip! This is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harrison. I'm done. What are you waiting on? Subscribe to the best women's MMA platform on YouTube.